Hello, Emma. Project Hello. coordinator at Urbanized Arena. Yeah. I'm so glad to have you with us. Thank Welcome. you. Tell us a short a little about your background and how you ended up in Urbanized Arena. Uh, well, for the last two years, I've been working at KTH as a service coordinator and a communicator. And then my contract ended and somehow I found my way here. Magically. <laughs> and it's quite nice. I like it here, so. Yeah. And as we said earlier, you're the project coordinator. Can you tell us more about that, that job description, that role that you have here? In well, it's quite area? wide. I'm responsible for both uh, creating project plans, uh, making sure to connect the right people to each other, and of course, evaluating projects and making sure that you have the right stuff to communicate about the projects. So it's pretty much everything around that's important for a project to be able to actually be a project, basically. So it's keeping the structure here in our Yeah. Cool. So now that you've been here for quite a while and uh, getting, you know, warm, yeah. um, what, what do you see? What is your conclusion? How, how, how do you find your work to, to expand? <laughs> well, it's fun. I think most people are actually quite afraid of writing project plans. It's a little bit scary. We have a template, so it's not that hard to fill it out, is what I think. But people usually look at this template and feel like, oh no, I can't do this. This is too much. I don't know what to do. But now since I'm here, I can help out with that. So when people start a new project, they can just come to me and we can figure it out together. So that's good. And, um, and I'm looking forward to doing some evaluations as well. Because I think projects, you know, they need a purpose. And we don't really know the purpose until we write a project plan and how we fulfill those, those um, purposes until we know uh, the evaluation and the results from that. Exactly. So I think it's quite important. I agree. So why is it important for the project uh, to have plans before they begin their collaboration? Well, of course, it's important for every partner to know what is expected of them and what the purpose is for the project, because uh, you can't really just gather a lot of people and then see what happens, because that will make a lot of people disappointed when they show up to a meeting and spend their time and they realize in the end that maybe this is not for us. So of course it's important to make the outline in really early on, so we know, but then of course we can adjust. If we start by doing this, and then maybe we find out that hmm, maybe we should hint a little more in this direction, we can of course change that, as long as everybody's in on it. As the project owner, if I want to start a project in Urban ICT Arena, what criteria do I need to fulfill? We have a couple of criteria. Uh, the first is you need to uh, contribute to one of our three overall get mo mm, aims. Aims. And goals. aims. That's why huh? it's wrong. Huh? <laughs> uh, you need to secure the future jobs and strengthen innovation in the region, as well as work for uh, sustainable cities. And that's not so hard when you think about it. Uh, you also have to be urban and not boring. And of course, uh, you need to apply the digital sustainability goals. Also not that hard. And in the end, after the evaluation, you have to share some knowledge with us and experiences. And basically that's it. And you can help out with all these things. All of, of the above, yes. of course. So what's the best thing with working in Urban ICT Arena and here in Shista? Oh, that's hard. But I think in, in the short answer, I would say all the cool people I get to meet. And it's, it's very inspiring. It's really inspiring. Great. So thank you, Emma. So now we're going to do 10 quick questions. Ooh. And this is the funny part, because if you're too slow, we're going to ring this bell. <laughs> and right. move on to the next question. Yeah. All right? OK. You ready? Petra, are you Ooh. ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. always all right. ready. So, the first one is, if you had to rename yourself, what name would you choose? Oh, I'm quite happy with my first name, but since my name is quite generic, I would change my last name. I'm answering. What's the best thing you have received as a gift? Oh, uh, this, uh, when I had my last birthday, a friend of mine showed up with a box filled with sewing gear. And it was so exciting. What color is dominant <laughs> in your wardrobe? Florals, if that's a color. Which movie did you last see? Deadpool 2. It was oh, so good. Really? It was so good. Yeah. Yes. I have to see it. I'm yeah. going to watch it. Yes, see it. All right. How should one proceed to impress you? Ooh, 
I think to be friendly, down to earth, and honest as a as a whole, basically. So, if the end of the world was around the corner, how would you spend your last time? Well, I guess with my family and my pet cats and all the people I love. I, it's hard. And my favorite uh, question: What's your favorite candy? Popcorn. All right. Definitely popcorn. And if you were stuck alone on a deserted island, what three things would you bring with you? My boyfriend, <laughs> some food, and like either a boat or a helicopter so I could get out probably, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> and are you a morning or a night person? Neither. Neither? Maybe a morning person, I morning guess. Person. And what song did you last sing in the shower? I don't usually sing in the shower. I sing everywhere else, though. Mm, interesting. So I, don't, I don't really, I don't know. All right. Thank you. I have music in my head all the time. I don't Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Cool, Emma. Thank you for asking these 10 quick questions. Thank, Thank you. you.